G'day there, I'm Dingo Pete and welcome to my kitchen. When you come to my kitchen, you're going to learn how to cook some beautiful and delicious food that is just so easy anybody can do it. And it's not going to cost you the earth either. Tonight what I'm going to be doing for you is what I call Dingo's Greek Chicken. I don't know what else to call it. It's, it's got some Greek characteristics to it. The beautiful thing about Greek food though is the way the Greek people share it with each other. Food for the Greeks is an absolute social experience. So get in with this, get your mates around, cook it up, they'll be very very impressed and you'll be delighted with the outcome. Okay, what I've got here folks is four boneless skinless chicken thighs. I choose chicken thighs because I reckon they're the pe best part of the bird. The texture is fantastic, the meat is more tender than the breast and the flavour is just wonderful. So I've got them in a pan here and what I'm going to do to them first, of up, uh, first up is simply take about a teaspoon of tomato paste and cover each of those thighs. About a teaspoon, that's all. Not a lot. So far, so good. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit of paprika on there. Not a lot. Just gives it a little bit more flavour. Yep, that'll do it. And now, I've got uh, five chopped garlic cloves which I'm going to spread around all over the place now I've got some uh, golden marjoram uh, I grow this in the garden, it's beautiful stuff. It's a type of oregano, but it's not quite as strong as uh, straight oregano. Uh, but if you haven't got golden margarine, oregano will be fine. Preferably, preferably fresh, but uh, if you have to buy uh, dried leaves, that's okay too. You'll still get the beautiful flavours out of it. So on that goes. Spread fairly evenly over the lot. And now I've got a chopped brown onion. Sprinkle that over. Nothing hard so far, is there? Nothing at all. Yep, that'll do. I've now got a habanero chilli from the garden. I've taken all the seeds out of this because I don't want the heat. The heat with chilli is in the seeds. I just want the beautiful flavours of the flesh. So sprinkle that over. And now I've got some red capsicum that I've cut into strips. Going to pop that on. Just pop it on willy-nilly. starting to look pretty isn't it? Now some green capsicum that I've also cut into strips. These have come from the garden of course. I like to grow my own food. It's a lot cheaper, a lot more nutritious and uh, the flavours are just leave anything that you would uh, uh, get from the supermarket for dead. Alright so we've done that now. The only thing left to do is sprinkle with a bit of pepper. Not a lot, just a little. There we go. Now I'm going to pop that into the oven which I've preheated to 200 degrees. It's going in there for half an hour, just half an hour. 200 degrees, I'll bring it out and then we'll put some more ingredients on there and it's going to be fantastic. 
Well folks, that's been in the oven now for half an hour at um, 200 degrees Celsius. It's looking lovely and the fragrances coming out are just fantastic. I'll make sure you uh, use an oven mitt every time because you're going to protect your hands. What we're going to do with that now is pretty simple. We're just going to add a couple more uh, ingredients. Here I've got some grape tomatoes. You can use cherry tomatoes. Uh, they'll be just as good. Uh, just pop them in over the top. As you can see there's been no fancy processes and all of the stuff that I've got here is stuff that you can easily source from your local supermarket without having to go anywhere special. Oh the fragrance is just delightful. So I've got the tomatoes on. Now I'm going to put in some uh, pitted olives. There they go. Just chuck them on. And that's, that's the fanciest operation that you'll ever see me do is for, in the kitchen. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to put that back in the oven. It's going to go back in for another 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Here we go. Well there we go, that's been back in the oven now for a further 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. All those flavours are coming together and the fragrances in this room are just amazing. There's just a couple more little things that I'm going to do to this dish before we eat it. And I'll remind you that the most difficult process that I uh, have done here is to just plonk stuff in. Nothing fancy at all. What I'm going to do now is just add a couple more ingredients. Here I've got some crumbled feta. Crumbled feta cheese, which is beautiful. We're going to sprinkle that over the top. Lovely. Again, an extremely difficult process, as you can tell. But the flavours that come out of this dish are going to absolutely amaze you. Every time I do it, I, I just salivate while I'm doing the cooking because the fragrances are everywhere. Well, that's enough of that for now. So then I've got some flat leaf parsley from the garden and I've just roughly torn the leaves so I'll just sprinkle that around a little bit. Just like that. Don't want to go overboard. And the final ingredient for this dish is some pea shoots. Yes, the humble garden pea. Just sprinkle them on. There's not a lot of stalk in there. The stalk and pea shoots tends to be a little bit woody. So as little stalk as you can and just sprinkle it over. They're beautiful. I, they're a well kept secret. They're just absolutely beautiful. All right, that's our dish absolutely complete now. What I'm going to do is just serve that up onto a plate and eat away because you won't get anything nicer than that and as I say the fragrances in this house are just extraordinary they are amazing so please invite your friends around do this undergo these difficult processes of just chucking stuff in and you'll have a wonderful wonderful meal wow that was amazing that was absolutely amazing. I loved every bite of that dish. It was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. All of those flavors in together, and it was pretty easy to do as you saw. Anybody can cook that, that's fantastic. So what I'd like you to do is get your mates around and cook that up for them. Fantastic, have it with a glass of wine, very nice. You have no need to put any other food with it. It's a complete meal all unto itself. Please, if you like what I saw, tell your friends about it and subscribe to my channel and next week I'll have something else for you. Thank you very much.